What's up you guys? I am officially back from Florida and I wanted to share with you like my updated skincare and makeup routine and products that I like cannot live without. So I'm going to show you. And now I have a little tan. I also use self tanner um, just to maintain it on my face because I really don't tan my face that much. Um, in the sun and I was just like rubbing my neck, which is why it's a little red. But either way, I know I kind of took like a hiatus from YouTube. So I'm excited to get back into this space. Um, but yeah, let's get started with some of my favorite products. Skincare wise, say I use this hydrating gentle cleanser. I love this. I felt like my skin barrier was like super, super wrecked from all the harsh like products I was putting on it. And I was kind of getting like a bunch of like skin stuff here. Um, I also kind of noticed that that definitely has to do with like my coffee intake. Um, but this one has been incredible in like retrieving my skin barrier. And so I ended up switching from all products. Like I used to use like Tatcha Harper and like uh, moisturizer. And I ended up switching because I felt like I was having so many breakouts. I just like wasn't sure what was happening. And now I pretty much only use this on my face. It's the double repair face moisturizer and I'm almost out of it. So like I have to get more of it. Um, so I just honestly switched it up to make it like super simple. And like these two products have saved me lately from dry skin in the winter. Also coming back from the sun, like these literally I cannot live without. So if you're looking for a skincare refresh or something simple, highly, highly, highly recommend La Roche-Posay. I just am obsessed with their products. Then for a self tanner on my face, I use the Saint Tropez, the Gradual Tan Plus. Um, I really like this. It's like everyday illuminating face cream. You can put this on at night or in the morning, like under your makeup. Um, so whichever you prefer. Do like a glow anyway. So I'll probably just like do it at night just because like I'm already pretty tan. Um, so I don't really need it on right now. Um, but yeah. And then now to get into the whole makeup situation is i start with this so i've tried like multiple like primers and some i love and some also like were really making my skin really break out um let me show you the one that i really like so this is like the refi one i kind of felt like my skin was not happy at all with this just be myself um but it's a face primer glow and sculpt and then this one is um Embryolose Lake Cream Concentrate. So this one's like a European brand. Um, I got it from Revolve and I use this literally all the time. So it's just like a cream. So put it on my face. It's like a good base and it's like kind of tacky, which is great for like making my makeup adhere. Do you really like how this ends with like the end result? However, I just, I don't know, I'm like scared to use it because I was having so many breakouts that I'm still trying to figure out what it was all from. That I just need to keep to what I know and love. So this is the airbrush setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I'll go in and just put a few squirts. Not sure, I feel like it keeps my makeup on lasting longer. I just really like how refreshing it is too. So let me go in with my Lancome um, Ultra Wear. So I wear 220 Bop. I have worn this for years. Like I honestly can't remember the last time I wasn't wearing this. I do put this on with a beauty blender. I have tried um, different foundation brushes, which I found one that I actually really liked. It was by Say Beauty, and that one was like an incredible foundation brush. So I do like that. However, I like the seamlessness of putting foundation on with a beauty blender. I haven't done full glam in a while. So I'm gonna feel very overdone. Up when I have a little color, cause it just like makes my skin just like look so much better and like match my body because obviously this color does not match um my skin but because I put self tanner on it's fine and I really need to get my eyebrows done I'm kind of like torn on like the shape I really need to get them like reshaped and mine are just so thick so I just like feel like right here and they kind of grow strange and I just like I don't know. I could totally like do without that part. So 
we will we will kind of see and play with that. I did get this incredible thing from Mad Love, which I'm just going to give them a shout out because it was incredible if you have small brows um, or if you just want to like line them. So this is like a brow stamp from Mad Love and you take like a little stencil. So like one of these, whichever shape is closest, you hold it on your brow and you literally stamp it and it fills it in. It's like really hard to mess up. So if you want like instant, like thick brows and like an instant, Mad Love is your girl. So I will link that below, but this is like a really good product. I feel like if I'm going like all out, I want my brows to be snatched. I will use this, but I haven't gotten my brows like shaped in a while. So I feel like it just like, it's too much when they're not like perfectly like tweezed or waxed. I just feel like I get like crazy about it. So anyway, and then this is my Hourglass Silk Vanish is the color, I'm pretty sure. And this is, This is my concealer. It's so creamy. Little goes a long way, but I love this. I really don't have a ton of breakouts right now, which is incredible. So I just like put it on to conceal. And then I go in with my Hourglass brush. Rub it around. So though, it's super weird being back from Florida. Cause I, once you realize you don't have to be cold in the winter, you don't want to be cold. And living here in the Midwest, it sucks in the winter. I can't find like my actual ones. These are fine. These are from these are from Amazon. So I'll just use these powder puffs and go in with my Kosas. So this is like a little setting powder. I really like this because it's clean. I don't have to worry about like any bad kind of chemicals compared to some other ones. Except for I don't like these at all from Amazon. I like would never recommend these. I feel like they just like shed. Yeah, powder puff. Sometimes I feel like this does make me feel drier. So I'll just kind of like go in and you can see where like my natural like cheekbone is. And so then I'll just like accentuate it. I do have like a decently round face though. So I'll just kind of go in and accentuate the needed areas after this. Okay, my next product that is totally my ride or die, I've been using this in my makeup routine, is the Patrick Ta, and you can either go in with the cream first and the powder over, which maybe I'll try today. Usually I do the, let's do the cream first. So I've tried multiple ways to put it on, and I prefer the Beauty Blender for, putting it on whatever lines and then like where the sun kind of hits you also I'm not a makeup artist this is just like what I do and why I feel like my makeup has kind of been slaying um lately when I do full glam this is just like what's kind of been working and then I'll like do it down here a little just to make it a little bit more defined and then I'll go over it with the powder but usually I always do the opposite. I do the powder first and then the cream. I don't know why, I just, that's what I do. And so I'm just gonna layer it, I think. If you're on camera, you need more because you need like the defined lines so that the camera picks it up. Otherwise it won't look like you're wearing any makeup. Really press it in. That powder and if I need to add some, like if I need to clean these lines a little bit on my nose and contour it. I usually use my Fenty one, but we're just going to stick with the Patrick Ta so it's the same shade. And I just go down with this. Some highlight on top. Super cute. So I will go in with this. It's, just, it's really light and cute and pink. It's almost like a pinky purple. For my brows, usually I do this first. So this is also Patrick Todd. This stuff like really sticks. Like you, once you set it, oh, what's happening? Once you set it, there's kind of like no going back. So you kind of got to like form it really quick. I just put this on my brows to get them where I want them. Like really works pretty fast. You only have like a few seconds to manipulate them 
but it definitely takes your brows to a whole nother level with getting them to set with this is from Westman Atelier and I will show you what it looks like the swatch it is beautiful it literally makes you look so dewy and you have to be careful with this because I do feel like sometimes it makes my makeup because it is so dewy like it kind of gives it like that it's gonna come off so I just kind of like add this on top for a little added like highlight and hydration. But I love how dewy that product is. I'm using a brown in my waterline. So I will go in here. And I sometimes put it up as well, so I can show you what that looks like. I have a Makeup by Mario palette. And I do more of like this color. I call it orange. And I will just put this kind of all over and like warm it up because the cool tones and this one feels actually a little cool. So I'm going to mix it with like this one. I go in with my Girl On palette, which I use all the time. So I'll put some gold right here. Touch it all. There's the eye situation. And I go in with my lash curler. I always keep it in a bag because I feel like it'll be like cleaner. So I go in, curl my lashes. I never used to curl my lashes for like the longest time. The whole thing freaks me out. I don't like getting this close with my with my eye. Dye mascara Ilia. I love how easy it comes off and it just really looks so good and i love this brand i'm just trying to go more with clean brands when it comes to makeup and everyday products that i'm using on my skin just so i'm not having all these super toxic chemicals on everyday products so i'm just trying to like switch everything over but like this looks really good i'm like really happy with it i've used a variety and some I like more than others for different reasons. However, this one, I do feel like when I go to take it off, it's not pulling out all my eyelashes. And some mascaras that I've used in the past have definitely done that. They've looked amazing on, but then my eyelashes kind of go with it in terms of when I go to take it off. Below and just do like these outer ones. And then I will do the charlotte tilbury flawless finish once my lashes dry a bit veil by hourglass setting spray i use this at the end because i feel like this one just like really works good it's like lip mask on let me grab that the kisu lip mask before i put on any makeup just to kind of like let them chill out and get hydrated so i'm just gonna dab so i don't have tons of extra i go in with like the mac Color Oak Lip Liner. Usually always do like a good neutral. And YSL Beauty. So this one is kind of like a pinky. We could try it. Mmm, it smells really good. I like how hydrating that is. Like, which honestly I might layer over it is the Hourglass, the color Tide. So that is kind of my makeup look. So I'm going to go in with this setting spray over it with the hourglass veil spray so i definitely feel like it really holds it tight and then i like press it in and then any areas that are giving me a little too much shine i will go back in with the kosas just to go through my t-zone and that is my current makeup routine. So it's not like super intricate. Um, this is what I have just found that works well lately. So this is what it looks like. I mean, my hair isn't done, but yeah. So that is my favorite products that I have been loving in my skincare and makeup routine. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to be making more YouTube videos soon. Can't really make excuses. I just kind of took a hiatus from YouTube, um, but good to be back because I feel like 
I like these long format videos um, for you guys. So yeah, but thanks again for watching and then hit the subscribe button. If you have not already, I will drop my handle here as well. And then everything that I use in this video will be linked below. Um, so stay tuned. Bye. Thanks for watching.